current of love that draws me to St. Mary's is the compassion, tolerance, and basic good sense of the Episcopalian Church. Unlike many other denominations, it is a church that is enriched by lady priests and indeed by lady bishops, which is, of course, only right and proper. Now, on my spiritual journey, I am something of a wobbly St. Thomas. I read Christopher Hitchens, Professor Dawkins, and Stephen Fry, and they almost persuade me that Nietzsche was right. But then I come to St. Mary's and listen to a sermon from Rector Christine or assisting priest Wendy, or today from Ellen Jan, and my moral compass is restored. God is in his heaven and in my heart. As we all know, love is the greatest thing in the world. And the supreme current of love in St. Mary's, for me, is a fellowship of love that inspires this church. Next to Sunday, the spiritual highlight of my week is Wednesday, when I stack shelves in Edwards Hall for Christian social concerns. And I do this with a wonderful set of people who are much closer to heaven than I am. But I do know that when it is my turn for Peter Pan's awfully big adventure, I shall grab their metaphorical coattails and slip in behind St. Peter whilst the pearly gates are unlocked. <laughs> that, of course, is if they ever are locked, which I don't believe for a moment. So thank you, St. Mary's, and thank you for listening to these rambling thoughts. Thank you.